Hey guys, Toxy here, and welcome to the fifth episode of Toxy Y Features. In this episode, I will be showing you the skins section of Toxy Y and going through every single option, showing some examples, and just overall spreading awareness on uh, what kind of customization do we have. So to start off, let's open the Toxy Y settings by clicking the Toxy Y menu icon here. And I'm already in the skin section right here. Now the skin section is divided into four categories. We have LVY, class icons, group icons, and raid role icons. Now the naming for these categories might be a little bit confusing because all four of these are actually skins for LVY. It's just that the rest of the icons were had quite, quite a bit of settings to customize, so I split them into separate tabs. But rule of thumb, this is all for LVI and ToxyY as well. So the first thing we see is the ToxyY LVI skin. This module applies a grain background and shadows to all LVI elements. So the grain background of the LVI skin is most noticeable here in the settings option. You can see that the like the backdrop of the settings is you know it has like this grainy texture and it's not flat as it usually is so if i disable the skin you can see that this is how it looks like by default and it is applied to every single window like the armory as well if i disable the background it also has the same background uh, bags too you know it's all the same now if i enable the skin again you can see that the settings the bags the armory all of them change to have that grainy texture and the second element that is customizable is shadows and we add these shadows to a lot of things so if i disable them you can see immediately that things like the settings the settings frame the each individual buff this little status bar here the unit frames even the action bars all have a shadow so if i disable it you can see the shadows disappear and now they appear even the elements inside of the config also have a shadow so we cover a lot of stuff with this one and of course you can customize it by you know increasing the shadow size increasing the opacity of it if you want to go really super fucking dark and have shadows everywhere you can do that you can also go the opposite direction and have it very subtle so like now the shadows are barely visible and if i toggle i can't really even see the difference the next module in lvy skins is the toxi game menu skin and this is the feature i'm probably mostly proud about like i really like it i, I use it every day i see it every day and it's basically this little skin right here that we see when you open the game menu so if I go back to the settings, you can see that a lot of it is highly customizable. You can, of course, just disable it if you don't like it. And you can also select to show different things. So, for example, I can disable the player info, which is basically this little piece of info here. Your name, guild, level, spec, and class. Then, of course, the random tips that change every time that you open the game menu. You can choose to disable these. And then you have some uh, background options, like you can make your background a class color, or you can change the background manually, and you can also change the transparency of it. So, for example, I can set it to zero, and the game menu is transparent again. Do note that we block any mouse interactions behind the game menu skin, so even if you don't see it right now, it's still there. And as you can see, like I can't click any of my quests, I can't interact with details or anything. That is to, you know, just avoid unnecessary clicks and so so keep that in mind. And then you can change the style of the spec icon. You will see this toggle in many places in this video. Right now it's set to Toxy Y stylized, but for example, I set it to Toxy Y white stroke. And that's how it looks. Then we have the AFK mode, which basically changes the screen when you're when you are AFK. And you might notice that it closely resembles the game. Uh, the game menu screen so if i go to afk you can see a very similar view as to what you see on the game menu except that the random tips have moved to the right side and we also have a change log 
and in a similar fashion as for the game menu skin you can also disable the information that we show and change the specialization icons. Next up we have the deconstruct module and I actually need to disable Baganator to showcase this so give me a minute. There we go. So the deconstruct module is very useful and I'm really sad that Baganator does not have that. Uh, but uh, still, if you're using LVI bags, you can use our deconstruct module. And basically what it does, it, it adds a extra button right here in your bag with which you can easily disenchant prospects or mill items that are, you know, available to do that. So I have enchanting on this character and if I click it, you can see that every single item uh, has this dark overlay except for these three items right here that I can disenchant and if I hover them it shows you know DE and a glow so now if I click an item while having disenchant mode enabled it will just simply disenchant it and I can continue to the next item so very simple to use and very very convenient next module is the action bars fade and this is probably the module that the most people constantly ask about and they don't know that this exists so yeah we we control action bar visibility and by default it is set to mouse over only because well you don't really need action bars they are there only to hold your keybinds and you're probably asking okay but how do you add spells to your action bars if they're hidden that's the hidden feature of action bar fade if you open your spell book your action bars also show up the same goes for the macros window and also for the LVI keybind mode. So with all of these things covered, I truly believe that you do not need action bar shown, but if you do, it's very easy. All you have to do is change the mode from mouse over only to, for example, show always, or you can also do it showing combat. So let, let, let's go to do combat. So if you set it to combat, as soon as you enter combat, the action bars will show up. And you can, of course, have the reverse logic. Oh, God damn it! dummies get lost from you. You can have the reverse logic by hiding them in combat. So they will show up when you're just walking around. And as soon as you enter combat, they will disappear. And if you want to not use the action bar fade you can either disable the whole module but that will require a reload or you can simply just set it to lvy default and that's uh, that's when lvy takes over control so if we go to action bars you can see that we have the global fade transparency so if i remove my target and you know change the slider you can see that lvy now controls the visibility of the bars and of course, while editing the video, I noticed that I forgot to mention one more thing for the action bar fade, and that's the show in vehicles option. So right now it is disabled and I can't access it. That's because I have vehicle bar enabled. So if I disable vehicle bar and go back to skins, you can see this option becomes accessible. And basically what it does, it shows your action bars while you're in a vehicle or also in sky riding mode. So if I mount up on my mount, you can see that the action bars show up. And uh, yeah, that, that, that's what I wanted to show. And the last thing in the LVY category is color modifier keys. And there's not a lot to talk about here. It basically colors your modifier keybinds to be your class color. So if I show the action bars, you can see that shift, alt, and you know, control if you use that, or like the numpad, all of them get colored. Same goes for you know the, the mouse buttons as well. And if of course this setting is also the same in the vehicle bar. So you can see shift F, we have the green color modifier. And then moving on to class icons. So by default, you will see that we're using these special Toxy stylized icons. Thanks again to Shaz who helped me create them. I really appreciate it. And like, this is, the, this is the highlight of my UI. Honestly, I fucking love these icons and you are able to change their style here. So I have some images here to showcase them because you do have to reload each time you change them. So the 
default stylized would be you know the simple class icon that you've seen in many uis and then we have the u.gg variant uh, these icons were pulled from u.gg and of course i asked for their permission so we have full rights to use them that is fine and then we have these pack icons in four different variants colored white and then the same with strokes and these are the same icons that you're used to for tox ui these are the same icons we've used in the armory in wunderbar and everywhere else and of course, you can apply all of these icons to details too. Now, we cannot do that automatically, so we've prepared a button that opens your details configuration screen. All you have to do is go to bars general, and here in the drop down list, you see we have all of these the same icons. So if I change it to Toxiwise, you know, to class stylized, run some test bars, you can see we now have these fancy class icons. And if I set to UGG wide stroke, you can see they instantly change. Now, do you note that all of these specialization icons are available only on the retail version of the game? And that is because Blizzard does not have a proper spec uh, API. And we can't really check the spec of other players in your group or just overall other players. So we've decided to omit this functionality. But if I'm not mistaken, you can still use spec icons in details because they, they gather that data, they have that data. So then moving to group icons, this is all fairly simple. I'm going to enable the party frames just for this example. Uh, we have three settings here in the group icons. The first one being roll, then the dead icon and the flying icon. So if I disable the dead icon, you can see the little skull in the middle disappeared. And the same goes for the offline icon. And you can of course change these. The default is Tox UI stylized, but you can change it to Tox UI, Tox UI material, or just default Blizzard style. And the same, you know, goes for the offline icon. We have a couple Tox UI options and then Blizzard defaults. And we also have the role icons. These are the icons here on the left, which indicate uh, your role. So tank, healer, DPS. And we have also a couple of selections. By default, it's Tox UI material. But we have Toxui Colored, which is from very long time ago. Then we have Toxui Stylized, which are very detailed, but I believe like very detailed uh, things don't look that good in, in WoW's rendering. And then we have simple white icons, so feel free to choose them. And then lastly, we have all of these raid roll icons. Now, I can't show these because they only show up when you're actually in a raid, but all of them have three options. Option one is Blizzard default. Option two is Tox UI material. So material, imagine a very flat, flat, simplistic style. And then stylized is, you know, icons with colors and like smaller details that, you know, make it a stylized icon. And that is it for Tox UI skins. I really hope I didn't yap for too long because Oh my god, I, I see the recording is at 20 minutes, so hopefully I can cut that down uh, by a lot. As always, if you have any questions, please join my Discord server at toxui.com discord. I really don't like using the YouTube comment section, so if you have any questions, go to Discord. Thank you.